Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Today I'm going to share with you some of the practical tips that I used for updating our dining room space. Let's go ahead and go to work. In this video, I will be reviewing the Arteza acrylic paint in their easy to squeeze pouches. In this box, you will get 14 of these beautiful colors. I focused on the bright colors for this particular project and they were so silky and smooth to work with. There will be a discount code in the description box of this video as well as a link to their website. So you got new accessories and you're going to paint your room. Well, how about figuring out where your accessories are going to go on the wall first? Do you install and then take them down and then paint the wall? That way you don't have to worry about doing additional spackling or painting. Well, I hope you're not too disappointed, but I didn't buy any new furniture. I just upgraded my chandelier. It was one that I got on clearance and I've been looking for something similar for some time. It's a little bit smaller, but during the install, I had them to lower it an additional three inches. Now we did not paint the wings coating. We only painted the wall and that color is Sherwin Williams linen. Now things are starting to look a little monochromatic with the walls and the lamps and the core bells. So something needs to stand out. So I'm going to check the attic to see what I have there. Well, we've got lampshades and lamps in the attic and what we don't need, well, we purge. So I found some navy lampshades up there. They're very fragile, but just for the color in case I want to get some more. I like that look, but I'm afraid it's a little too dark. And I also like the height of the original lamp, but just with a different lampshade. That's all. I decided to go with a larger lampshade. Now, if your lampshade doesn't conceal the socket or the switch, guess what? It's too small. So you may have to just switch out your harps to get that to work for you. This is not a lampshade video. I just wanted to throw that in. Well, one hour later, these lamps were gold. That's all they needed to stand out from the wall. A new lampshade and some gold spray paint. Yep, it's a great idea to use aluminum foil to cover the tops of your lamps before you spray paint them. Now, you know I tossed a lot of the silk florals out. Well, one, I didn't like them anymore, and two, they looked a little warm. So, we're going to revamp this arrangement that's been sitting on the mantle for winter. Well, that's done. You'll see all of this in just a few minutes. I went into the family room, removed those two ginger jars off of the mantle, and then into my craft room, I had tassels. Well, they were a little bit longer than I wanted them to be, and I did shorten them. I personally haven't lost a tassel yet with this process, but I do want to warn you, you have to be careful when you are doing this. So. Proceed with caution, if you will. These lamps originally had tassels on them, so I wanted to see how the navy tassel would look on the gold. Well, as you can see, the white ginger jars needed the tassels more. Now I wanted to add a pop of color onto the table. So I'm using this alabaster bowl, which I purchased from Home Goods. I have three of these bowls. I was gonna hang them on the wall in the foyer. So now I'm gonna use one of them on the table and I'm adding some faux lemons that I purchased from TJ Maxx. And there's my pop of color on the table. You guys know how much I love blue and white. So since I did the plates and there's several of them on the wall and it makes a very bold statement. I said, well, to counter that or to offset that, I want yellow in the room. So why not do the ombre canvas on the opposite wall? Well, shall I say the adjacent wall to make sure that that color is highlighted as well. And it worked out beautifully because it's such a large wall. These ceilings are high and I'm playing off of these high ceilings in our home. I haven't in the past, but I'm really glad that I'm doing it right now. I've shared this story with you guys before. I had to go before the Dean two years in a row for painting an ombre effect 
on my dorm room wall. You start out with just plain white acrylic paint, then you add yellow to that, and then more yellow, and then more yellow, and then even until you get to the gold, and that should be at the very bottom of the painting. And then just streak multiple colors of the yellow to the gold throughout the painting. Okay, so while you're watching my hands work, let me share something with you. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell. That notification bell is so important to the sustainability of every channel here on YouTube. So when you press the bell, you decide, do you want to be notified when I have uploaded every video or occasionally? But nevertheless, you must press the subscription and the notification bell to know what I'm up to. And I would appreciate if you would like and share this video with your family and friends. Okay, now I gotta get back to the garage. I wanted to try my hand at botanical art and I am so excited that I had these paints. Now I'm so in love with yellow so I used just about all of my yellow and all of my white in the kit so I'm gonna have to get some more but I really loved how this painting came out and I'm going to add more yellow flowers when I get the new paints in but this is absolutely amazing. I love the fluidity, I love the transparency levels of the paint and I love how bold the colors are onto the canvas right out of the tube. They are so bold and so bright and so silky. Love that. Thank you, Artiza.
Now the link to Arteza is in the description box below, as well as the code for your 10% discount. So please look in the description box below. I've got a couple of more projects coming up with some of their products, and I cannot wait to share those with you. So be on the lookout for fun, fun, fun with art on this channel. Yep, just a little bit more yellow and I will be able to add another flower to the very bottom of this painting covering up a large portion of the stem and leaves. Now there's a couple of things that I consider when I look at art for a home. The size of the wall, the traffic patterns in the room, and of course the color palette itself. And there are other factors to consider as well, but those are the main ones that I consider. So you guys can decide what you want to do in your rooms. I notice we get bigger pieces of furniture and smaller pieces of art. You can use a variety of pieces of art in a space. You can do multiple pieces on a wall and then do one large piece on the next wall. I will provide a link in the description box below on how I covered the bench at the table and also how I painted the chairs at the table. If you'd like to see how I organized that large console cabinet, then click the video in the description box below or on the iCard. Well, that's it for me in this video. I hope you love the tips that you've gotten today and hope they're useful for you in your home. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so today and ring the bell and then answer the question, how often do you want to receive notifications from this channel? Do you want them randomly or all the time? That is so important for the sustainability of any YouTube channel out there. Guys, thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.